Welcome everybody to another episode of The High Ground, a very special episode of The High Ground at that. I am your host, the Raylo Slapper, Shield Devastator, the Black George Lucas, and the Last Jedi Hater, Abu Nas. I'm also the president of the Abu Nas Rehabilitation Center. And guess what? I have no more people to put into the center. It's filled to capacity. Can't, can't bring nobody else in. I was going to bring in another special guest, but unfortunately... That man got busted by the Twitter police. You know who I'm talking about. It's that boy, the one and only, that crazy-ass mountain man, Chuck Wendig. I'm blocking his bitch. <laughs> oh, my God. Chuck, good man. Good man. They finally caught up to your ass. Finally. After how, how, how long has it been since you've been on Twitter on a rampage? Saying everything that you want to say, all this wild and, and crazy shit, and, and making threats and, and, and credible threats at that. I mean, to, to, to do bodily harm and then fuck you and fuck him and this, that, whatever. I mean, you was just losing your damn mind. Even to a point that even James Woods had to say, yo, dude, you, you really are an ass hat. I mean, <laughs> and, and, and this is like the pro Trump of Trump. <laughs> So that, if that man told you, like, yo, you're taking it a bit too far, <laughs> then you know Twitter had to lock you down. So I don't know who reported you, but somebody did. Somebody reported you and sent your ass out of here. Now, a good friend of mine that uh, was following me on Twitter, he gave me the 411 and let me see the, um, the whole um, uh, tweet, the whole tweet behind how he got locked up. And boy, does he look pitiful. He's looking at it like, oh. I don't know how long they said that I'm going to be um, unable to put tweets out there. I mean, I could still see my time. Like, you know, he never had never been in Twitter jail before. Yeah, he's, he's a virgin. You know, he just got his cherry pop. So now he's in here with, with the locals. But you know what? He, he's in there just chilling. He ain't in there with general population. You know, like myself, because I'm a three-time Twitter felon. You know, Twitter police came, locked me up the first time. I was like... Pfft. Whatever, let's go. Second time they came through, <laughs> really? Yo, get my, the, the, have, the, have the dude that was, the, that was washing my drawers, get ready to fix me my dinner. I'm getting ready to come back there and lock this shit down. Third time, Twitter Supermax prison. Full swap of teeth, they, they came in, kicked down my door, they carried me out like I was, uh, you seen that movie Silence of the Lambs? Yeah, they had me wrapped up like that with the mask and all that. And I went in the Supermax general population, I held that shit down. And I told him even then, you know I'm going to go back on Twitter, right? You know I'm going to sneak in through the back door. I don't know, Abu Nas. It, it, it don't look good for you. But I'm going to see if I can grease some palms, make some things happen, make a couple of calls. Because you're a stand-up dude. You don't deserve to be in Twitter uh, Twitter Supermax prison. You was up there slapping up these shows, smashing rainbows, telling these bastards exactly what the deal is. I respect that. I know, man. And I don't deserve to be in there, but I got to do what I got to do. I go in there, two months later, I made the great escape. Back on Twitter, looking crisp and clean with no caffeine. Your boy Chuck Wendig, what did he do? Knock, 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 knock. Who is it? I'm giving, I'm trying to block somebody. Who the fuck is that? Open up the door, Chuck Wendig. This is Twitter police. Holy shit. <laughs> I came crashing in through the door, slapped him up, took his wife and <laughs> threw in the closet. <laughs> Chuck went this kid trying to make a run for it. He shot, he shot him with the BB gun. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> took, him, took, the, uh, took the axe that, you know, Chuck, he loves his actions. Took the, shot, the axe out the wall, <laughs> put it to his head. All right, Chuck, you already, you already spazzed out a little too much over here. So you know what? It's time for you to go to, uh, go to bed. Go to bed, not in your own bed, but in the Twitter bed. The Twitter Supermax bed. What? What did, what did I do wrong? I, I'm Chuck Wendig. I work for Lucasfilm. Not anymore, dickhead. <laughs> you see you see this tweet? What are you doing? You're sitting up there making threats on people. That, that's not how Twitter rolls. Twitter is all-inclusive. It's, it's, it's love for everybody. You, this is you. Fuck this person. Fuck Trump. You you really hate the president like that? <laughs> and And all those people that don't like Asians... Fuck you. I mean, really, Chuck? And this is the people that hire you. Disney and Lucasfilm, and they're giving you Vader. Yes, that's right. He's doing Darth Vader books. Darth Vader books from the point of view of characters that he created, obviously. That's going to follow, uh, supposedly follow 
uh, in their own words that Darth Vader is probably after them. Some some bullshit. So he's supposed to be reading, uh, writing the point of view characters. I know. And him doing everything that he's doing on Twitter now, this is the type of person that you want representing your company, Bob Iger? But what about Kathleen Kennedy? She's the president. Beep. Slow your roll. She's the president of nothing. But we'll get back to her in a minute. So is that the type of person that you want in your company, Bob Iger, to represent kids? The one that, that who got a potty mouth for days? Shoot, I use colorful language too, but I... I don't do it on a on a crazy <laughs> on a crazy spree that makes me look like I'm you know I'm from the backwoods and <laughs> I just came out of the, the out of the cave looking all <laughs> disheveled and shit. No, that's not me. I, if anything, I'm saying the things that I need to say because they need to be said. They need to be be reported that Disney and fake Lucasfilm messed up the sequel trilogy. They disrespected our heroes and we wasn't taking no more of it. I have a purpose, Chuck. You already in the establishment. Why are you acting the way that you acted? But I know what that's about. I know what that's about. You're catching hell from everybody. You're catching hell from everybody. So you want to look tough on Twitter for your little sycophant, big uh, boot licking bastards that follow your every word. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and you don't block the people that agree with you, but you block people that obviously have a difference of opinion of you. You know? I'm shocked you haven't blocked me yet. You blocked half of my peoples on Twitter already. And I'm the main one that just stays on your ass all day, every day. I'm sorry. Your, your Star Wars book sucks. It does. Aftermath was a piece of trash. As a matter of fact, I was in Barnes & Noble's the other day. And I went through the, the whole Star Wars section. I saw Han, Han Solo's new book, Last Shot. That was up there. I saw uh, um, Dar the Darth Bane trilogy. The, uh, the Tarkin novel. The Timothy Zahn joint, you know. Um, where was your book? Nowhere to be found. I asked the Barnes and Nobles uh, teller. I was like, "Do you happen to have uh, Aftermath Star Wars by Chuck Wendy? Chuck who? That, that's what they said. That's what they said to me. Chuck who? <laughs> Chuck Wendy. He's a famous author of Star Wars. They looked at me like I had two heads. Like, oh, really? Uh, would he be in the uh, section where Star Wars is at? I didn't see him there. I, I was just coming over to ask you if there was books available of, you know, that he'd written that you have. No. <laughs> and that's it. So, obviously, you're not that famous like you'd like to think you're famous. I mean, what, you, so what? You may have a blue check mark and that's supposed to mean that you're important? Half of the time, these people with blue check marks you know, that got 100,000 followers or 500,000 followers. You know, half of these people can't even fill up your timeline. And most of these people are either bots, porn sites, you know, advertisement clicks, clickbait. That's the people that, like I said, that's probably the majority of your fans. Because half of the tweets you get don't even break 500. So what is you telling me? That tells me that you got a little fan base that follows your every word and that agrees with all your bullshit tweets. But when people like myself tries to bring the noise and tells you exactly why The Last Jedi sucks so hard and why the identity politics is really killing the franchise and why that we're not racist, man baby, sexist, neckbeards, and, and everything that you like to call us, that when we tell you that it doesn't have to be a female protagonist in the movie to make the movie good. Good writing good storytelling, and good characters. We don't care if it's a female, we just want them to be good. That's all we was trying to say. No, nope, don't make no never mind to Chuck Wendy. So like I said, he was at it from the first. And I took my copy of Aftermath and I threw that shit in the river. For all my subscribers that don't know that, go back into the archives where I talk about Chuck Wendy way, way back when. So, and it will be enjoyable, trust me. Especially towards the end. But when I tossed that shit in the river, I just said, look, I'm done with him. I'm done with everything he's about. But I have to stay on his ass. Why? Because it's fun. It's fun. I, th I, I can't even get mad at Chuck Wendig. Like I said in my last, uh, in a, a couple of videos ago, I don't get mad at Chuck. If anything, he's good for comedy. He's good for something. 
and I need to stay on him just to let him know that we're not giving The Last Jedi a free pass. We're not giving your fucked up opinions a free pass. We're pretty much going to stay on your ass until you can't take it no more. And obviously, it worked. Because he went over the line, Twitter police locked him down, and now there he is. You know what they did? They probably put his ass in, in, in Twitter solitary confinement. You know what? <laughs> you can't block yourself. Or can you? Well, whatever it was, you stay in that cell and you think about how bad you made yourself look and how bad you made the company look behind your madness. I really wish Disney and fake Lucasfilm would reconsider having you write those Vader comics. But, you know, Disney and fake Lucasfilm, they've been proven to make bonehead decisions a lot nowadays. So this will probably be one of them. They'll probably stick to their guns. And probably keep you on. You'll you'll get out of jail. So since this is your first defense, you'll probably get out of Twitter jail in uh, maybe three days or eleven hours or something. Whichever one. I think yeah. When you're your first defense, you get an eleven hour shadow ban or what have you. So you can't tweet like the madman that you are. But you can look at other tweets. As a matter of fact, after this video is over, I'm gonna jump back on Twitter and curse you out. Yo, jump. Are you locked up? You need, you need to come and me, my brother. <laughs> How about, how about if I call your hot wife? <laughs> your wife is kind of hot, man. You, you, you locked up for a minute, so I might have to pay a visit. Ding dong. Who is it? The maintenance man. I didn't go to maintenance. Boom! Kick down the door. What's up, baby? This is Abu Nas. I just got on the phone with Chuck. What? Who are you? Don't worry about it. Chuck said it was okay to come see you. As a matter of fact, I'm going to let you know how a real man gets down in the bedroom. You got the camera? <laughs> and then after I do my thing, slap a book. Chuck Wendig's wife? God damn, girl. You know how to rock my, rock my world. Mm. As a matter of fact, Chuck Wendig's kids ain't here. <laughs> Wait a minute. Holy shit. <laughs> it's like Chuck Wendig's son's just standing at the doorway. <laughs> she was like, no, get him out of here. Wait a minute. Let the boy watch. <laughs> Let the boy watch. This is what it means to be a man, son. So I take the video, now I'm done. I'm like, all right, Mrs. Wendy, I'm out. Yo, give me the camera. I'm taking this over to um, Twitter jail. But but Chuck can't see this. Of course, Chuck needs to see this. Of course he does. He needs to learn a lesson. And I'm Abu Nas. I'm the lesson maker. Don't worry, he's going to be a brand new man when he gets out of Twitter jail. So I bring it over to Chuck. He couldn't take it. <laughs> But you know what? I give a fuck about your feelings, Chuck. I give less than a fuck about that. Why? Because you are, because you are fraud. You're a fraud, man. You've always been a fraud. You fraud and you pose in light. You big time, but you're not. And now your big mouth finally cost you the one thing you really didn't want. The notoriety. You know? You, know, you ain't Freddie Prince Jr. talking shit. And then you get your shit pushed in by people in the WWE. Nah, you ain't, you ain't like Freddie. You know? Freddie, Freddie's the same way as you. Only he finally got the message. Shut the fuck up, fall the fuck back, and just don't say nothing. Because you don't have nothing to say to these paying customers that you keep disrespecting and you expect us to shell out the money to go to your, and see your movies. Or pay money to go read your crap, uh, uh, crap books. Nobody's not going to do that, Chuck. Damn sure ain't going to be Abu Nas, and damn sure ain't going to be the people that I roll with, you know? So keep fucking around, man. You got locked up one time. Now you got to tiptoe to the, through the tulips when you get out of jail. I know you, that's what you're going to do. You're going to have to do that. Well, you, you, you was in Twitter jail and you came out and you didn't tiptoe through the tulips. That's because I'm more of a man than you ever be, punk. I ain't got to tiptoe through, through nothing. I say it's what the fuck I want to say. I do it's what the fuck I want to do. That's exactly it. If I tell you boot licking bastards up there that's like in The Last Jedi, you know, I, I love Ryan Johnson. <laughs> Ryan Johnson, you're the greatest. No, I don't get down like that. I smack the shit out of these assholes, kick the shit out of these other dumbasses. Nah, -uh. I put them in their place and I tell them, look, stop being a mindless sheep, man. Grow some balls. Get, uh, 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 get, be a man. Be a woman. Be something. But don't be these, these kids running around here begging for likes, begging for love from writers and directors and, and book writers that don't give a shit about you. You're just a person just popping up on Twitter. Ain't nobody thinking about your ass when they turn off their they smartphones. Come on, man. Come and just watch it up. But like I said, call this shit for what it is. It's a bad film. No, 
It's a terrible film. No, it's the worst film that, that Star Wars could ever put out. It's so bad that George Lucas himself said that movie was soulless. It's, it, 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 it's, it's like, it's like food for the dead. It, 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 it's like, you know, uh, firewood for the, uh, for the bottles of hell. <laughs> That's how bad that shit is. And nobody, not from John Soyega to Mary Sue Ray can escape that madness. And, and Rose Tico, Mwah. Kelly Marie Tran, talking about everybody harassing her. Come on, stop it with that bullshit. If anything, Chuck, you're part of the problem too. Only you contracted by Lucasfilm to do books or whatever. Now they contracted you to do those Vader books. I appeal to the assholes at Disney fake Lucasfilm. Please do not let him be the author of these books. I beg of you. You want to know why? Because nobody's not going to buy them. Nobody's not going to buy them. Especially after I get through with them on Twitter. So, that's pretty much it. So, Chuck, you got what you deserve. Congratulations. You have reached asshole. You, you reached a status I couldn't even reach. Supreme asshole of the year. Man, I know I can be an asshole sometimes, but not on the level you want. But that's okay. All my Twitter fam, all my YouTube subscribers, they know exactly what type of a man you are. And I already tweeted that out to you. Because you had all these people following you saying, yeah, Chuck, I totally agree with your assessment. I had to get on there like, listen, Chuck, you know you can spit out stupid shit to these people all you want. But let me tell you something. Me and the real Star Wars fans know exactly how you rock. And you ain't fooling nobody. I was shocked he didn't, he didn't block me behind that. Because that tweet is still there. It doesn't matter. He's in Twitter jail now. In, 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 in solitary confinement because he ain't tough enough to get a general population with your boy. Nah, he ain't tough like that. He'll just go in his little corner, just write some notes, because that's what, you know, whack-ass writers like him do. Write notes. That doesn't turn out to be anything but what it is, just notes. But, hey, it is what it is. But for now, let us rejoice, true believers. Let us rejoice that finally, after so many horrible, misogynist, and, and, and like I said, this is from a misogynist telling another misogynist, damn, man, you 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 went overboard with this shit. <laughs> What's wrong with you? So if, if I can say that he's bad, that, that that's bad. That's bad, you know? I mean, you just went totally off the cliff, no parachute, going head first into the dirt. You got some balls on you, Chuck. Not the right kind of balls, though. You need to have balls to be able to humble yourself. Amongst the crowd that's only telling you, look, we have a right to be upset about that movie. We have a right to be upset that your books is trash. We have a right to be upset because you're writing books to sell to the public. You want the public to buy your works. How is that going to look, Chuck, if you're cursing everybody out, blocking people left and right, telling them this, telling them that? You can't do anything. You can't make money. That's for damn sure. So take the advice. You know, I take the advice for the one and only and not from Sony. Never a phony or punk ass macaroni. Take it from take it from me, man. It's not that serious. And I dare say when you get out of Twitter, tone it down a little bit, Chuck. It's alright. Get your you know, take some medication. Get your blood pressure down, man. It's alright. Shit, I'm taking blood pressure medication. My blood pressure's already high. And it's because of the stress and everything I'm going through back at home. And shit, when I'm at now I'm at work. So I'm I'm back in I'm back on the grind. I'm back on my job. I'm at work. I'm trying to do what I gotta do. So I can understand the stress, Chuck, but damn, God, you know, my, my dude, you ain't gotta take it out on us every day. Just let us have our day. We're the paying customers. The customers is always right. That's what they say, right? All right then. So with that being said, let's watch and see what happens with your boy Chuck. Who knows? Maybe he'll turn in a new leaf. He'll come out, see the light of Jesus. Ah! Comes out looking like, hmm, I was in a dark place. Yeah, as a matter of fact, when he comes out, hello there, sir. Who are you? My name is Reginald. I'm here to escort you to the Abu Nas Rehabilitation Center. Oh, wow, Abu Nas. Well, that guy was making videos about me, and he wasn't very nice. Well, he offers a truce to you, sir. So get into the company car and we will drive you there. So he goes into the car, drives over to my rehabilitation center. He gets out the car, I'm there, welcoming with open arms. Mr. Wendy, 
Hi, my name is Abu Nas. Welcome to my rehabilitation center. Would you come, come in, sir? Yeah, I was in uh, jail and, and I didn't like what I saw in there and it's not for me. I don't want to go back. I, I just, I, I'm just so passionate about Star Wars and, and I feel like, I, I, I know, Chuck, I know, I know. But you know what? This is where the fans and you can try to meet head to head and we can try to resolve the issues that that had us at odds with one another. Would you like to do that, Chuck? I would like to do anything to get back to the status I once had before. You know, a, a great best-selling author. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, all right. Well, let's not go too far into that, that rabbit hole. Let's just come and sit down. Now, Chuck, as the president of the Abu Nas Rehabilitation Center, we see that what the real core issue is is that there is a difference of opinion where it comes to The Last Jedi and your book, Aftermath. Now, the premise of your book, uh, from what I've read, is that it is about a bunch of ragtag individuals who unexpectedly uh, stumble upon the final plot of Emperor Palpatine? Yes, that is the synopsis of my book. Okay, well, who are these people? Well, they're just random people that I brought together. Oh, uh, random. They have a backstory? Well, some do, but others... I just tacked on to... Okay, okay. Uh, and they just happened to stumble upon Emperor Palpatine's pan. They, they're not from the military of the, uh, of the Rebel Alliance? No, they're not. They're just people that I just brought... Okay, you know what? Stop. This is what the core problem is. Your book is trash! <laughs> don't be shit in the garden! No, don't fool my book. Don't check the fuck up! <laughs> Order these. Hold that man down! Did, did you see this book? I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna put it in the shredder! No! Yes, Chuck. Yes, it has to be done. Okay, put him down. Put him down. Hit him with the billy club one time. Shut the fuck up. Stay still. Stay still. Stay still. Okay, all right. Now, now that the book is out the way, Chuck, what is the core issue that you have with the fans? Oh, I just believe that The Last Jedi was a great movie, and, and they had no business disrespecting Ryan Johnson the way that he did. And what's that? This is a slide of what Ryan Johnson was doing for the last seven, eight months. This is a picture of him saying to fans, you're, you're a dweeb. This is, a, this is his tweet. A picture saying, dweeb shouting in the void. Then he has a picture of a white man in diapers sucking on a bottle. Then he's saying with his show that I don't have to know, I don't have to see to know what that is. I just know. Man baby. Yeah, so this is what Ryan Johnson was doing to the paying customers for the past seven, eight months. And you, and you wonder why the fans do not like his movie or him? Oh, I didn't know he was doing all of that. Oh, you didn't know? You worked for Lucasfilm. You rolling with him. Him and Pablo Hidalgo. Y'all guys that didn't have a little slumber party and got together and trade notes? Well, oh, that don't even answer that. Either way, Chuck, the customer pays money to see the films. See and read your books. If you disrespect the fans, no matter how much you have a difference of opinion, they won't buy the work. If they don't buy the work, you don't get paid. If you don't get paid, then Bob Iger don't get paid. And if Bob Iger don't get paid, then it's hell to pay. See how simple that was? Oh yeah. You know what? I think we, I know what we're going to do with you, Chuck. We're going to put you through the express package. The express package? That's right. The orderlies will escort you to your room, and we'll get started on the express package. You know what that express package is? Total beat down in the dark, smacking him up with his whack-ass novels, and kicking him right out the back door. Worthless. But don't take my word for it. I just got... Paid in health, wealth, and the best thing yet, knowledge that we the customers is always going to be right because we know more about Star Wars than the people that runs the company themselves. That's bad. That's truly bad. So episode nine, we ain't got nothing to say about that. Kathleen Kennedy got three more years at Lucasfilm. Nope, she's the president of nothing. I already made a video about that. All she's doing is collecting the check and chilling in the office. But we'll get back to her at another time. But as far as Chuck is concerned, my dude, you really just hit rock bottom. 
And when you come out of Twitter jail, don't make a mistake and open up your mouth the way that you did before, because you go right back in there. Take it from a three-time Twitter felon. Twitter don't play when people start reporting and think that you're making threats. Ah, shit. Half the shit I did, I'm st I was shocked that they finally caught my ass the way they did. <laughs> but you know, I still get less than a fuck about all of that. So, with that being said, thank you again for chilling out with your boy. Especially with this special show right here as I'm on location at one of the Black Ops sites. You know, the, the site that pretty much keeps it real at every turn. Make certain that you know that we live this shit right here. We live, we live the fantasy, the geek, and, 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 and the world of, of, of comics, movies, everything that has to do with fantasy, action adventure, uh, uh, anime, anything. We are dedicated to this shit. And as far as Star Wars is concerned, we live, we will breathe this, and we eat this from the, di from the cradle to the grave. And I, like I said, I'm one of the shepherds in this. So trust me when I tell you. When we tell you that we're not going to tolerate your foolishness, Lucasfilm, you best, be you best believe and recognize that that's exactly what that shit is. So with that being said, thanks again for coming by. Uh, I'm hopefully going to have a new music wrap-up. Because I'm not home at the moment. But I think I'm going to have a music wrap-up when I get in this weekend. So, you know, I'm going to touch on old Chucky Boy. So, hopefully you'll look for that probably on Sunday. But uh, other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful night. I'm going to see you all on Twitter. One love. Later.